goes on along with, with every other swim every other day and you're seeing all the Singapore swimmers doing their best times it it just translates on to the rest of the team and hopefully it translates on to this because we are hoping finally for a breaststroke winner at the sea games remember we haven't won a breaststroke event at the sea games since 1989 it came in this event and it came in kuala lumpur maybe that's a good sign a wonderful omen for the likes of the cool cousins to take samuel and lionel in lanes one and four but it is a tough field champions in the past three editions are in this field five from the last games are in this field including lionel Koo. and that man wang fu kang who is the defending champion This should be an intriguing race. Samuel Koo, second at the Commonwealth Youth Games. He is in lane number one. And then the champion in 2011, champion in the 200 meters breaststroke, Keaton Nutapong of Thailand in two. Radomir Matyo, who was champion in 2013, second in 2015, he's in three. Lionel Koo, the national record holder, which he set at last year's national age group champs. He was fourth in 2015. He is in four. Nathaniel Gagarin, who's clocked the fastest time in Southeast Asia this year. He's in lane five. Alongside his compatriot, who is only one of two Southeast Asian swimmers in the 100 meters breaststroke to have gone below 102. Indra Gunawan is in six. The defending champion Wong Fu Kang, when he won in 2015, it was Malaysia's first goal in this event since Elvin Chia's victory in 20, uh, 2001. James Deparin of Philippines, some call him a dark horse in this race. He's the national record holder of 102. He trains in the UK. So Lionel, the hopes go with him. In fact. Singapore have not had a medalist let's not talk about gold have not had a medalist in this event since 1999 when Daniel Liu won silver so it has been a barren spell and the cool cousins have been given the responsibility to end this Samuel in one Mutapong in two, Radom Yos in three, Lionel Koo in four, Nathaniel Gagarin in five, Indra Gunawan in six, Fu Kang of Malaysia in seven, and Deparin of the Philippines in lane number eight. And just as we expect, is as close as you'd like in the first 25 meters of this race, with heads just popping out all in a straight line, especially between lanes three, four, five, and six. But it's Radom Yos Maggio who's slightly in the lead. In fact, the outside smoke that we're talking about, James Deparin of the Philippines, has turned first. So we're saying that he might be the dark horse in this race and after 50 meters he is leading ahead of the rest of the field they can't see what he's doing it wasn't the best of turns but Lionel Koo is getting right back into this now Nathaniel Gagarin too Lionel Koo trying to make sure that his charge comes right now Lionel Koo's got to make his move it's Radom Yos and it is Nathaniel Gagarin heading to it. So too Deparin of the Philippines in lane number eight. He continues in his lead. Lionel Koo slowly inching his way back into this race. It might be a little bit too late though, because it will be Nathaniel Gagarin in first place. Deparin of the Philippines in second. Maggio of Thailand third. So once again, Singapore miss out on a medal. I think Lionel's going to be extremely disappointed. Um, both times just out of the medal contention. Um, you know, again, but this is extremely such a tight race right i mean we knew that any of them that six seven swimmers had a chance to win this and you know um i think Lionel's definitely disappointed with this well before these games only two swimmers went below 102 and in this race alone we've had two nathaniel gagarin is one of them the fastest in southeast asia this year is the fastest in the sea games nathaniel yus gagarin indonesia's first winner in this event since 1993 when Wurmandi Sugriat took goal for them. So they too have had a drought. Nathaniel ends theirs. Singapore's droughts and hopes of a medal continues into 2019. What a race though. We did say Deparin of the Philippines would be an outside bet and really the dark horse of this. And he took it out really quick in the first 50 meters. He did. Uh, you know, maybe it's a pity that he was swimming in lane eight right if he was swimming in one of the middle races and could see Nathaniel that could have been a different story right there 
What a race though by Nathaniel Gagarin. 102.42 was his best this year. He was first at last year's ASEAN University Games and this year first in the SEA Games. Have a look at his time, 101.76 for him. And that is a new national record, lowering that of uh, Indra Gunawan, who only finishes in sixth spot in this race. Lionel once again missing out of the medals, this time by 